There was once a great forest in which was a golden tree, and each leaf on that tree was born when a child was born in the world. When those children grew up and grew old, and it was time for them to die, their leaves would call death, and he would pull them off the branches and put them in his black pocket, and those people would die. Now, nobody knew but one witch there was a way to trick death and find your own leaf and take it to become immortal. That could be done only by an innocent child. Oh, there. Didn't mean to scare you. You haven't seen a set of legs anywhere, have you? Legs? Where's my manners? Philbin Popper's my name. I sort of angered a witch. Stepped on her foot accidentally, of course. But she took it very badly. <laughs> she took my legs as punishment. You haven't seen them anywhere, have you? Sorry about your legs, but I'm looking for my granny. Will that be a woman with a, a red hat and a green raincoat? Yes, that's Granny. Where is she? The witch has her. A witch has my Granny? I'm afraid so. Where do they go? Well, they may have gone that way. But they could have gone that way. I don't have time for this. But I was looking that way, so they could have gone that way. Hey, if you see a pair of loose legs, they're probably mine. Are you lost? Such a long way into the forest for such a young girl. I went into the forest with my granny. She was stolen from me by a witch. Really? A witch? There is only one witch that I know of mean enough to steal someone's granny. Not a very nice witch at all. You know her? Yes. And if she has your granny, there is only one way to get her back. How? You must kill the witch. Kill the witch? How can I kill the witch? You must go to the Golden Tree of Life. On it, you will find a single black leaf. You pluck it, and the witch dies. And then your granny will be free. <laughs> That's it? It's not as easy as it sounds. There's an old man who walks with a wooden staff. And he protects the tree, and he never lets anyone get to it. An old man? Yes, but he's not alone. He has his forest helpers. They will try to confuse you. But if you stay strong and clever, you will get past them. Even if I get past them, how do I find this one golden tree among all the other trees in this forest? Give me your hand. This leaf will guide you to it. Wow. See, it points you in the direction of the tree. But protect it well. The old man and his forest helpers will try to take it from you. But should you lose this leaf, you will never find your granny. I won't lose it. Good. Now go, child. Find that tree. <laughs> I believe you have something of mine. 
I needed to find the golden tree, and you and your forest helpers aren't going to stop me. We shall see. the leaf, didn't he? Well, tell him I'm not giving it to him. What are you doing here? If I pull the witch's leaf, the witch will die, and my granny will be free. Which will only die if the leaf is in my hand. Then please, pluck her leaf and save my granny. I can only pull the leaves that sing to me. And I've said too much already. You need to leave. No, I'm not going without the witch's leaf. Yes, you are. What are you waiting for, child? Go get the witch's leaf. Stop! You don't know what you're doing. We're walking, we're walking. Watch your step, please. We're walking, we're walking. 
you. Are you on the tour? No. Well, then step aside, please. We're walking. Stay together, everyone. We're walking. And now, did we lose anyone coming over the river of lava? No? Good. Well, then this is the nerve center for the golden tree of life. Tree? I didn't come on this stupid tour to hear about some stupid tree. It's not just any tree. It's the golden tree of life, and it has a leaf on it for every person alive. All 257 billion of them. So? So? Let me show you how it works. What's your name? Melvin. Melvin. Type in Melvin. You see, he puts your name in here, and then he takes it to Mitchell. Capital and then she speaks into the microphone and Melvin! the voice, and it carries up the tree. Now, there's a man who takes care of the tree, and he will find the leaf that is singing and pluck it. Then what happens? A person dies. Any questions? Good. Oh, you girl who's not on the tour. Can you tell me where to find the black leaf? <laughs> Down the corridor, third door on your left. Thank you. We're walking. We're walking. Okay, step over the body, please. Thank you. We're walking. We're walking. One. Two. Very good, child. Now, bring me the leaf and we can free your granny. Is the witch dead now? Is my granny free? Your granny will never be free, child! <laughs> You're the witch. At your service. But I don't like to be called the witch. I'm more like an enchantress. I want my granny back. 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 Fear not, child. Your granny will serve me well. <laughs> For a dinner with giblets and gravy. <laughs> Give me the leaf. Oh, be quiet. Now, where was I? Ah, oh, yes. I was just about to enslave everyone to serve me. <laughs> on the tree. I just guessed that one was yours. A stupid child! Now you go back to that tree and grab me all the black leaves or I shall turn your granny into a toad! It's oh. early! I checked you! Stop! <gasps> In a flash, Anna fell and lost her grip on the leaf, and the witch raised her hand to destroy the child, but the black leaf flew up and went straight to death's hand, and upon their touch, the witch died. With her powers gone, death unfroze and bowed to Anna in deep gratitude and sent her back to her world, to the place where her granny was guarded by the witch's sister. Yes, I'm looking for my granny. Down the hall, second door on the left, room 107. Thanks.
one. help you, young miss? You got your legs back. Legs? Yes, you have your legs now. I do, miss. And a mighty fine pair they are. Is there something I can help you with? Yes, my granny's supposed to be in here. The woman with the red hat and the green raincoat? Yes, that's granny. Do you know where she is? Indeed I do. The nurse has her. A nurse has my granny? Where did they go? They may have gone that way. But no, I was mopping there, so they may have gone that way. There's my granny, and the witch has her, again! You. I was going to make your death painless and quick, but now I shall roast you and your worthless granny over a volcano for a hundred years. Leave us alone, Malevola. I'm Remorsa. You and that worthless old man killed my sister, Malevola. Killed your sister? Duh. But before you kill the rest of my eleven sisters, I'm going to take care of you. But I didn't kill your sister. The old man did. He'll be taken care of as well in due time. <laughs> Say goodbye to your world, child. <laughs> it appears that you have no powers. I don't need powers to take care of a little child. Say goodbye to my world, Remorsa. Goodbye? Nobody's gonna roast my granny. And nobody calls me little child. Granny? Granny? Anna? Yes, Granny. Are we in the woods? Yes, Granny. Am I in a wheelchair in the woods, Anna? Yes, Granny. It's okay, Granny. Come on, let's go. This isn't over, child. No. I will find a way to get you into my world. And when I do, I will bury you in an anthill. No. The pit of despair. There you will find the meaning, the true meaning of suffering. <laughs> In her anger and rage, the witch went to her sisters, and together they thought how to get their revenge. They decided to try yet again to trick death, and they stole him away from the golden tree, and they froze him and hid him in their terrible castle. And all people stopped dying and being born. Now nobody knew but death that an innocent child that's immortal can destroy the witches, and freeze death, and by doing so, revive the cycle of life. So he sent Anna a message to come back to the tree, to take her leaf, and to help him and all living people rid the world from the horrible witches.